Hello everyone, this is a reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what we have as the overall energy for you, Sag. Let's look and see what this week has in store for you. So look at that. Five of cups at the bottom of the deck. Oh, somebody owes you an apology. All right. Strength card. Oh man, that's nice energy. Your person has a real a strong feeling of conviction over coming forward and talking to you. It looks like so far they've been holding back. So let's look and see what is going on in this reading for you, Sag. So let's see what the mutual energy is in the recent past for you and your love interest. Four of Swords energy, healing, going through a period of heartbreak, could be exhaustion. Somebody could have been physically ill. Uh, that is a card of recovery, though. And we can see with the little heart here that what I'm getting here is that, you know, you've there's been some sort of discord in the relationship, some sadness. So let's see what we have here for the mutual energy for the two of you. Ten of Swords. Ouch. Okay. So right now it looks like you're in separation. Ten of Swords is... You know, really feeling like this is the end. The way it's been can no longer be the way it is. It is in the dead zone right now in terms of your communication with someone. Let's see what we have for how they see the situation. Your person is viewing the situation, Sagittarius, as uh, they're trying to figure out what went wrong, what could have been better. What, they're trying to look at things from a different perspective. They're seeking enlightenment. Um, it's, a, it's a calm energy. It's Pisces energy. This Ten of Swords energy is Gemini energy, and the Four of Swords is Libra energy. So let's see what they feel about you. They feel as though you have stirred up trouble. So your person feels as though in some ways that maybe you owe them an apology. They feel as though you started an ego-driven sort of fight or, or a competition. You could be dating other people, but I'm not really reading it that way. What I'm getting here is an emotional, either a misunderstanding. Uh, your person's trying to figure that out with this Pisces energy. Did I misunderstand Sagittarius? But they do see you as causing some trouble here. They see you as a person who is, um, it's not a serious fight, but your person feels like it was, they feel as though you set the house on fire to the point that they can't ignore it. So how do they feel in their heart space for you? The Ace of Coins, they want a relationship with you. They certainly feel as though communication the way you've had it, though, cannot continue. That is not going to work out. And both of you are hurting from this. Judgment card is speaking to the fact that they want to release the anger, the hurt. We're going to clarify that. Judgment card can mean a total, complete breakup. But the fact that they expect an apology looks like it's conditional. It looks as though if relationship energy continued in this way, there's no doubt that they would release the relationship, that Scorpio energy. The Ace of Coins, though, says in their heart they want a new beginning that's solid and predictable. So you might be dealing with an Earth sign. Look at the hidden mutual energy between the two of you. Sagittarius, there you are in your reading. Both of you want this to work out. And Spirit is saying to you that you love each other very deeply, recommending the advice from Spirit is very much that you are soulmates, and this is part of the journey. And your outcome cards at this time are the Scorpio King and the Five of Coins, okay? Both of you really feeling lost. Both of you having, you, you possess the answers, though, to solve the problem. So what we see is we see a key, a lock, and both of you are not even looking up to see what the solutions could be. And your person wants to be very grounded. So five of pentacles and one pentacle is six of pentacles, equal give and take. So Sagittarius, whether your person is right or wrong about you, they're feeling quite devastated. They love you very deeply. 
uh, with this two of cups it's really clear they have fire in their belly for you they want to hold on to the relationship but right now you are in a full-blown relationship crisis is what it appears so let's go ahead and see what we have for the clarifiers five of cups why does who needs to apologize and why let's get some energy here okay so we have the twin flame card okay so it does appear that your person thinks that you are twin flames what we're seeing here is that your person feels as though this is the card 22 the naked heart it's twin flame 1111 your person feels as though this is part of the journey so they don't see it as an ending there's very much the energy that they still want this to work out all right so let's see what we have here so the clarifier to the strength card is the knight of cups so your person has fire in their belly to have romance with you we see them holding back because they feel very fearful the moon card is a card of sort of smoky trails things that go bump in the night it's a it's oftentimes a fear a fearful card the moon card is like the subconscious mind it can play games with you it can make you not see things very clearly you know you can't see as clearly in the night about love as you can about you know like anything you can always see more clearly during the daytime so your person feels as though they don't really know quite what's going on and if this is how the things are going to work out the four of swords shows heartbreak the empress card okay interesting energy the empress card the empress card is always the card of venus look at this the two of cups so the energy that i'm getting here is that both of you really love each other both of you are in this empress energy both of you are looking for the best of the best both of you see one another as your ships that have arrived in the harbor you definitely see yourself as you know being very much together but we get the ten of swords is clarified by the tower card something Ooh, okay so we see that there was a lie that was revealed okay seven of swords is lying stealing cheating sneaking around the tower card is a sudden epiphany or recognition that there's a less than honest discourse going on that which is hidden hidden in the night what's going on behind closed doors or behind the scenes or what's going on Sagittarius so your person and you are you know sharing this energy right now two of coins there's a feeling that there could be some juggling with another person going on there could be some some uh, competition in this relationship so it looks as though an apology is owed on the basis that there was something hidden okay why do we have the hanged man ah temperance card okay so now we have temperance again sagittarius so your person definitely this is temperance you are protected by archangel raphael um and so i'm getting the energy that your person is seeking answers just by trying to look at things from a different perspective to balance things out what else do we have what else is your person looking at ten of coins they want commitment with you they want happily ever after they want legacy that is virgo energy they're willing to do the work and the heart of wands so your person sees you sagittarius is very fiery that is the aries queen but it, it's fire sign energy so they see you as immensely sexy attractive somebody who gets a lot of attention so what i'm look what i'm looking at here is your person's really trying to figure out did somebody text you and it appeared to be different than it was like were you an active part in this interaction were you seeking to get attention from another person so that's what they're trying to figure out right now because they don't necessarily think that it was like you but they certainly didn't like what they saw and i see this like as your telephone sitting there and a text message coming through from a person who they thought might be interested in you the two of swords ah you didn't see this coming you did not see this coming and and it took you by surprise and you reacted pretty strongly to it you know you you so you're protecting a friend so it basically looks as though sagittarius and you you know you guys are a sign of friendship 
and the Ace of Wands. So it does look like it was somebody from um, the opposite side of the table in terms of attraction, somebody that your person thought was a romantic interest, somebody who you really very much like to interact with. With the Ace of Wands, they see you as being very, very good friends. They didn't think that there was anything to worry about, but now this text message with this Two of Swords, they really wish they had not seen this Sagittarius. But, you know, take it as it resonates. It can be vice versa, as everyone knows. If you watch tarot long enough, you'll learn that the readings can be vice versa energies. But your person does trust you enough to want this new beginning. Here we have it again, the 1111 card. Now it's a four of wands. Your person has a desire to make an offer to you to bring stability to the relationship up to and including. They see you as a marriage uh, partner potential. That's what they want with you. The Four of Cups, though, says that they don't necessarily think you're as interested in them as they are you. They feel as though you might take their cup of you might not take their cup of love. They feel very exhausted. They feel that you're bored with them, and they feel as though you might release them, Sagittarius. And maybe they they feel they're wondering if they do need to walk away. The Sun card says though that they don't want to. You are their happy place. The Sun card is all about the joyfulness. It's Leo energy, Leo energy. So they they definitely have fire in their belly for this relationship. Why is the judgment card here? They want to release the angst. Yep, that's what I got. There we go. Your person wants a relationship. So we have the Five of Cups twice. That's your person feeling as though you owe them an apology. But they want the relationship, the Sun card and the Sacred Heart, the Naked Heart. So they have fire in their belly. So I'm seeing your person just wanting to let go and they want the apology from you. But furthermore, they want a detailed explanation. They want that explanation and apology that like, you know, that you clarify with this person or friend. You make it really clear that you're not available to them or they're walking away. Okay. So that makes sense. The Ten of Swords is I've been stabbed in the back. I don't know that I can go any further. I won't be juggled. You know, one of you is in this energy, and that is a source of conflict. So let's see. We have the Temperance card. Why is it hidden here as the energy? Ooh, the Magician card, Gemini and Virgo energy. We have Pisces. We have the Five of Cups is Scorpio energy, Leo, and um, we have... Cancerian energy. Look at that. The Ace of Pentacles, the Magician card. Both of you are manifesting one another. You're not really talking about this much, but the Two of Cups is the advice from Spirit. Take that step in. Make that commitment. Eight of Coins. Dedicate yourself to getting to know each other better, to working through problems. That's becoming an expert about one another. Why is the King of Cups here, the universe? So, you know, the King of Cups energy can be very, very, uh, it's Scorpio energy. It can be fiercely, fiercely jealous energy. So I feel as though for some of you, you may be dealing with a Scorpio who is absolutely going to put themselves on lockdown if they don't feel as though they can get out of their head with this. So there's going to need to be a talk is what I'm seeing. They are hanging around waiting for an answer. Let's look and see what the advice of spirit is because it looks like things are very much at a standstill, but you're but they do want it, they want to come in very strongly towards a relationship. Cancerian energy. They want to say, honey, I'm home. They want to get back to this uh, nicer energy, a nicer time when you had all of this beautiful romance and stability. And uh, so they want this, they really want this feeling that they have of being rendered uh, not the person you're going to choose. They feel as though you're not interested in them, but they feel very threatened by it. So let's see what the advice is for you, because you wouldn't be at the reading if you didn't care. So let's see here. Let's see what we have. We have, okay, Spirit Guardian of Autumn, letting go. Wow, okay, so letting go, we'll have to clarify that. Let go of what? Bear spirit healing, okay. 
letting go of pain and that's what this card is the four of swords letting go of pain make you know whoever is going to apologize needs to apologize will apologize however that energy flows and we get leadership okay so the the relationship becomes healed because somebody takes the leadership role and there's an apology that's made a clarity that's given let's see what this underlying energy was to do with this sort of feeling of juggling and betrayal what was this energy about for our beautiful sagittarius friends let's see what we have here tink well it looks as though the energy here is is really very honest tink is playful is fun the three of three and four is seven. So the relationship that you have with this other person is really a spiritual relationship you may have had from childhood, or it's very it's very innocent. Tink is very innocent. So your person is beginning to see that that you know the stealer of truth here though, the speaker of truth. I'm sorry, not the stealer of truth. The speaker of truth is that they're beginning to see Sagittarius that you are, you know, you can be flirty, Sag. That's what your person sees. They do see you as a flirty person, but they also see you as the star fairy. They're not really actually thinking you did something wrong. They do have faith in the relationship because they do see you as playful and they do feel as though when you talk to them about this, that they, they see the truth, that you're being playful that it's something that they need to also trust you with. And it, I love the energy because here you are, you're healing the relationship, the lady of faith, very powerful and healing. It's a, a really nice, I like this reading for you. It makes me very happy that whatever has happened in the past becomes uh, pretty, it's healed and the truth and the way you're speaking to each other is so powerful that you're able to put your relationship back together again with trust, happiness, and joy. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for your time. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're viewing the video from, please. Hope to see you again soon, Sag. Bye-bye.